Hello. We already know that 3D Studio Max offers many possibilities for object modeling. At the beginning of our course, Basics of 3D Modeling, we mentioned that 3DS Max has many built-in activated and external software components. Scripts and plugins that can be added to our 3D concepts. In this video we will talk about the additional tools that can be added to the 3DS Max. Many things can be saved, but some items are almost impossible to do without the use of scripts and plugins. They save a lot of excitement has its significance in improving the creation process and, accordingly, the quality of the end result. That's why today, we will look at what scripts and plugins are offered by software developers, and find out which of them will be useful to us, and we will apply in our work. Let's first clarify what a script is and what a plugin is. Plugins are a software component, that is installed in addition to an existing software application, computer program, to provide the user with additional functionality, that is not part of the base application. As the name suggests, they are a kind of plugin. Through the plugins it is possible to customize the application software by the user, according to his user needs. Various developers create plugins, free and paid. Most often, they come with an installation wizard, but instructions may be missing. In this case, First make sure that the version of 3DS Max installed on your computer will be compatible with your chosen plugin and whether it is suitable for its 32 or 64 bit version. Add ons created for the 32 bit version of 3DS Max will not work in 64 bit and vice versa. Then, if you do not have installation instructions, proceed as follows. Close 3DS Max if it works. Unzip the archive of the module. Find the library file with the DLL files list. Copy it to the C, backslash program files backslash Autodisk's Max folder. This way you can now use the selected plugin. Script means a computer program, written in an interpreter language and executed by the respective interpreter. We can say that it is a batch file for batch processing, using a special algorithm. This makes the scripts convenient, for quick development by the programmer, designer, and allows for change and use according to the needs of their user. As already mentioned, in the presentation of 3D Studio Max, Autodesk supports the so-called a library of materials for its products. Additional features can be found at scriptspot.com. This platform offers a lot of scripts that will be useful in our work. The digital repository has a search engine in which we can search for what we need. One tip, periodically browse the site. There you can find really useful things. Many of the scripts are free resources shared by artists and developers. Another plugin that is often used is V-Ray by Chaos Group. With this plugin you will convey great realism to your objects. The next plugin is Forest Pack. With it you can add vegetation to your 3D scenes. There are many presets of grasses, shrubs, trees, etc. And last but not least, Rail Clone. With it you can distribute objects along a line or in space. Similarly, you can add scripts that you like and will be useful in your work. As for plugins, on our site you can read additional information about the most commonly used 3DS Max and their functionality. And together in the next lesson, we will learn what low-poly and high-poly models are and how to create them.